Hello everyone and welcome. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today we are going to be looking at two Polly Pocket sets, the Pet Center set and the Beekeeper set. Now these Polly Pocket sets are not new by any means. The back of them says 2019, but the Mattel website says that they were released in 2021. I actually got a request from a viewer named Rebecca for me to show these sets. She wanted me to show all of the sets because there are maybe five or six total but these are the only two that have polys with plastic legs as opposed to rubber but I actually didn't own any of these sets prior to Rebecca's request however about a week after she had asked me I happened to see these two sets on sale for about five dollars each now I knew they existed and I did think that these sets were really cute but they were always either coming from the UK or they were listed for fifteen dollars and I just was not willing to pay that much for them but when I saw them for five dollars I definitely wanted to grab them so here they are let's go ahead and pick out which one we should look at first um let's go with pet center so here is the pet center compact it is just a light blue square it comes with a purple heart key ring that you can take off I do quite like this raised plastic poly pocket logo honestly it's a little different than some of the other newer sets are doing now, obviously these aren't the only sets that have that but these are the only sets that I have, I believe, that have this raised plastic logo. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the pet center. So clearly it is a very simple set. It's very small, but I'm actually kind of getting into these simpler sets. I think because all of the new bigger Polly Pocket sets just have so many pieces, I'm getting very overwhelmed by all the repeat pieces and trying to keep track of everything and trying to fit everything into the compact. I think Mattel has worn me down to the point where to keep all of your accessories, give me simplicity. If that was their plan, they've succeeded. Let's start down here. It looks like well first we see this little dog he is on a skateboard I guess he's in this little fenced in area unfortunately he cannot be removed he is stuck there but you can move him back and forth you see some bones some toys I don't know if this is supposed to be like a vet or a pet store not entirely sure if we go over here you see these little clear boxes I think there's supposed to be like fish and maybe a lizard in there if you can kind of see that we see some paw prints on the floor over here looks like just a bunch of dog food bones of fish I think and what is that we spy right there what is what is that right there it looks like a cat face or a dog face some bones oh it's probably a bag of dog treats probably if we head up not too much here but we do see a little bird a cat um, and this little dog house looking area here you can actually remove this take it out nothing going on oops nothing much going on on the other side but the door does open so you can take this out and you can just set it up and play with it separately the only weird thing about that is you can't take the dog out so it's like who's going into the dog house you know who's going to be in the dog house if you can't take the dog out oh well still fun that you can take it out and behind here we see another little dog house and in the background we can see what looks like a pet store we see a little white dog a dog house a cat tower looks like some sort of counter with a fish tank now what's fun about these sets is that they open up like this this part pops out folds down and you can put a picture back here there are vintage bluebird sets that are like this that you can put pictures behind so they brought it back for these sets now since this is a pet themed set my daughters and I decided to put a picture of our dog this is Jess we put him right back here I don't have a printer that prints in color so it had to be black and white but you just put your picture in there and then snap that down and there you go. You can put a picture of whoever you want, your dog, your cat, your boyfriend, whatever. So we'll just pop this right on top of Jess. Sorry, Jess, we love you. You don't get very much with these sets. All you get is a Polly and in this case, this is who you get. Little Polly, she has her face painted like a dog or a cat and she is wearing a shirt it appears that has a fish on it or overalls maybe she can just go play with the dog she can even if you want to you can fit her back here and you can fit her behind the dog house I don't know why you do it but it kind of keeps her in place 
when you close the set at least. I almost forgot to mention that you have two pegs here and two pegs here. So while you could take this out and set it down to play with, you can also put it here or over here, either one so that you can just kind of have extra playability, I guess. Now on to the beekeeper set. Again, it's going to be very simple, just like before. We get the same purple heart keychain, but this time the compact is a pink circle. Everything else is the same, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get. So this is really cute, obviously. This is bee themed, super adorable. Down here we are in the grass, we see some flowers. We have a blue chair here for Polly to sit. We see a bunch of different flowers, I guess. The shape is kind of weird. Is it pots maybe? Here we see some, I guess, spilled honey with a little bear poking out. If you push on this, he kind of pops out a little. He's cute cute little bear in the honey. We get two more pegs here and here for the removable piece, which is up here. This is our beehive and we can actually remove, whoop, can we? We can actually remove this piece. And stuck on there is this cute little yellow and purple bee. We can spin him around. I'd actually hope that you could remove him, though I know he would have easily gotten lost, but you can't remove him. He's pretty stuck on there, but he's really cute and at least you can move him around. So like the other set, we can put our hive here, not really that way because bear's head is in the way, but we can turn it this way. If we look up here, we can see more of the hive. We of course see bees and flowers and lots of drippy, drippy honey. Just like the other set, this can be pulled down so that you can put a picture. I haven't put a picture in this one yet. Maybe we'll do one of our cats. So again, with this, we only get one doll. She has her hair up in buns. Her hair is purple. She has what appears to be a flower on her cheek. She is wearing a yellow and black striped shirt with a bee on it. Super cute. Now while these dolls do have plastic legs, they do not have holes on the bottoms of their feet for them to stand. And there actually aren't any spots in the play sets themselves where she could stand even if she did have a hole because these pegs are too big I think for the typical poly feet to stand stand on. You can kind of put the pegs between her feet like that to get her to kind of stand on her own. I reckon that works. guys that was the pet center and beekeeper poly pocket compacts i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoyed these simple small compacts that can actually fit in your pocket it's nice to have sets that are easy to take with you if you wanted to i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i hope to see you in the next video bye